You still trying to do it? It's been a long time. <laughs> you still haven't got me down. Silver Fox. That's it. Look at this, eh? feel like we're on a first date, you know that show? <laughs> <laughs> it's awkward. We're not on a first date. <laughs> very awkward. No, very awkward, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've had our day together. There's a lot of respect, but, uh, you know, we know where we're at. Well, 84, 85 is right yeah. in your memory, obviously. Yeah. and Because you weren't the 83 when we smashed you. No, well, that's when Colin Robinson... Go to old Tim Watson. Yeah, what happened that day? It was I know Tim's soft, but what happened that day? <laughs> you tell me. Oh, I don't know. I've, I've never asked a question. Oh, I, oh, Tim went down like a he, bag he, of potatoes. He went to sleep. Mm. We never forgot that, by the way. Uh, we is, oh, we is we. it? Well, it's sort of, um, when you think about Hawthorne and Essendon, there, there is a line in the sand because of the fact that it was club versus club, personality versus personality, uh, and... Who about the personality, by the way? We did. Well, we had the personality. You were, you were. Well, look at German. You He's were, a personality. You were, you were flamboyant, show offs. We were rugged, hard. And tough. <laughs> oh, sorry. Really? And we used to, Are you talking about rugged and hard? What about she it, used to take the piss out of you, blokes, before yeah, the game? Yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons this has become the battle. Was she's she's and jeans didn't that's get on. Right. No, they didn't. They didn't get on because she thought that we cheated. Oh, and, and, well, you did. No, right. <laughs> we were smelling eucalyptus oil. Uh, that's now, what we were doing. And Alan Jeans was what in his. Life. What was well, he was a, a he was sergeant of police. He, he was sergeant of police. He, I think he arrested Cheese somewhere along the line. And he took offence to that because he thought that because uh, you used to have your spies watch us look, sit in the stand. Oh, as if we can't see you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the way, by the way, I went to an eighty four eighty five reunion yeah. about a week ago. Right. And, and I run into Kevin Walsh. How is he? He said to say hello. Oh, well, so you sure? That- his face. He's still got your elbow. <laughs> Indented into the side of well, his face. Well, if you actually go to the if you actually go to the tribunal replay, I got off because I actually yeah. used my shoulder because in the game you could do that. And yeah. He knows that. Well, I'll tell you what, after, Fiery knows after that. After you did it, you were petrified. There was a couple of blokes that had, coming out of go at you, and that was it. <laughs> well, it was all over from Dipper. I remember Sue you writing my name. DP the He actually spelled right of all things <laughs> on the whiteboard. He said, "Make sure you get this bloke." Anyway, Gary Fox. Don't be disrespectful. No, I'm not. Sorry, Folgey. I mean, he wouldn't hurt a fly, would he? No. no but no. he he came out and punched me, and I said, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Sheedy told me to do it." <laughs> <laughs> he got two weeks. <laughs> it was the last person I thought, and wow. then Snake got me. Snake. Did he? Yeah, he oh, got me over the boundary. Yeah, Snake. He he got me over the uh, over the boundary line. It yeah. Should have been earlier. Oh well. You had Dermot Brown, right? He used to flash around with green boots and dyed blonde hair. You had Dipper, who was all huff and puff. Then you had Chris Langford, who was no, he was sort of a bit mellow. He was from a private school, played at fullback, obviously yeah. a great player. Uh, who else did you have down there? Um, Jason Dunstall, Johnny Platten, Gary Bacanara, Gary Ayers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really, come yeah, on. Yeah, well, Chris Schmier, like you know, we give it. All, it all didn't matter. We, we wiped you off the park in both those great oh, finals. So, please, and please, please, please. So it was please, always please. tribal warfare, you know. Sheed's always had a thing with Lee Matthews too. He sort of didn't like Lee too much. They'd played on each other previous to Sheed's coaching and um, it was like wildfire really when we played Hawthorne and it was just full on. If you, if you wanted to play two games a year, that was the two games you wanted to play. You look and say, right, where are we going to play Essendon? Right, I've got to be right for that game. I want to play that game. It was either Harves or Merv Nagel or Timmy Watson. or Roger Merritt. Uh, uh, Roger, oh, yeah, there's another one for you. Yeah. There's another one for you. <laughs> another, another thug that you had well, in Well, we side. had Paul Salmon who finished oh, that, all those we, blokes. You know, but that's right, we named the T- player. Vander Hart, <laughs> Terry Denner, you couldn't, oh, you couldn't cope with all those. Oh, amazing. You there it was great times, but you knew that you had to perform, no doubt about it, and look around as well. I mean, you, you only have to walk through at Essendon. Uh, you'll see photos of uh, what transpired in the 80s. Do you talk about it a lot? Not necessarily, but they're certainly aware of what had happened in the 80s and, and how it evolved because it was a sensational era when these two clubs played. It really, then it went on a little bit <coughs> further with yeah. um, Lloyd hitting Sewell off the, off the line in in that game about 10 years ago, and then there was Richie Vandenberg who started. You and Dermot went down at half time. I didn't go there. We were, I, I didn't was, go there. It wasn't no. you. It was Dermot. It was Dermot. Dermot. What did he say at half time, by the way? You, I don't you know. know. I wasn't there, but I'm, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad, glad what he said, he said because it got everyone fired up after the second half. It was good. And that velvet sledgehammer, Lloyd. Lloyd! <laughs> Lloyd! 
Indeed, the velvet sledgehammer. <laughs> the last person will bump someone like him, you know. He had a good mentor. Yeah, well, of course he did. Yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was you. But Vandenberg, he went berserk. You had been us for about 10 years and he that's reckon true. he threw about that's 15 true. punches. When we played in the 80s, we were so level. We were so level. Don't forget, there was a 15 mental penalty. So every time we got an SM play down, we held them down and vice versa. Then that became the 25 metre penalty. We changed the rules so our game would uh, move on. But it was great times. But you go into these young boys now, they know what happened in the 80s and they've got to create their own history. And I think uh, I think the, a bit of that history is there. You know what? I remember in 84 <coughs> when we, we were 27 points down at three-quarter time and she's referred, he ran out on the ground to get to us at three-quarter time. We were getting sort of closer to him in the, throughout the course of the third quarter. They'd spent all their pennies. Uh, Sheeds referred to, he said, look at Dipper, look at him, look at him. He's gassed, have a look at him. He's got his socks down, he's got his tongue out there. God, they are gone, Hawthorne. You are going to overrun, do you understand? And he kept referring to you. Yeah, you know why? Because he knew I was a matchman. No, he said, he you knew. kaput. My socks are always down and my tongue is always out. <laughs> well, like, I, like... I was I was in town in Australia, mate. I still am, by the way. <laughs> Silver Fox. The, the Super, Super Mario. The Super Mario. <laughs> At three quarter time, we were five goals up, and no, we were yeah, you know, we were going well. And then you guys just swapped the side around yeah. and. And bang. We you confused know? you when we sw- swapped three of our forwards yeah. and defenders and you didn't know what didn't was going on. Didn't confuse me. Yeah. I, I knew where I was You at. were spent by then. We were at the same level, mm. either top or bottom. And today is either in the eight or miss out in the eight. This is a game for both sides who need to win. And I think that extra pressure on them, knowing it's the two sides, I think it's got to be a, one of those classic games. And you've got Clarkson and Worsfold, both... What sort of players were they? Well, they were you, very uh, sort of shifty little players. <laughs> they were. You'd like to think that that would be expected uh, uh, today. Uh, I mean, worst fault. Temperament. Worst fault. Now, what a what a player he was. He but he was. A, well, he's a pharmacist, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah, you know, he sit behind the little counter, the glasses, the white jacket. Then he took that jacket off. He's one of the biggest thugs of all time. Now, yeah. what do you do these days, Dipper? <laughs> Super. Cool. I'm a brand. You're Dip, a brand. <laughs> Dip of the brand, mate. That's, what do you do, mate? I'm just a brand. I'm like Batman. You want me? What are you, just cereal? Put, yeah. or what other sort of brand are I'm you? Just, I'm the big brand. <laughs> Dip of the brand. Have a look at him. Still struts around. <laughs>